Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for March 19th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawk Watch. We had great weather for hawk watching today, starting off with sunny skies. We had a moderate to strong southeasterly wind the entire day, and temperatures were really warm, getting up around 70. And then in the afternoon, we had some cloud cover roll in, and by the end of the day, it was mostly cloudy. Today was another long, exhausting day of hawk watching, so I'm going to do the same format I did yesterday, which is to just go through the eBird list and show the photos from there. And I encourage you to go to the description and click the eBird link yourself so that you can look at the individual photos in full size. Today we had a total of 63 species, still some Canada geese migrating ahead around 750, although I did not see any snow geese today. Small number of ducks still around, some were on the lake and some were down on the marsh. For sandhill cranes today, we had five of the normal type that we see, which are the greater sandhill cranes. And that was the largest group seen at the end of the day. We also had two earlier, but they may have been part of that group of five we saw later on. But also mixed into that group, we had one lesser sandhill crane, which was a much smaller individual with legs that hardly stuck out past the tail. So this is a rare subspecies group that has occasionally been seen in New York State, but very rare to see in this area. But it was cool to see how obvious it stood out with those much larger, greater sandhill cranes. So this is definitely something that uh, I was happy to be able to document so well. I think uh, I got a lot of photos and uh, with the comparison to the graders, it should be um, positively ID'd as a lesser sandhill crane. Still some kill deer on the move, but only seven. So not as many as we were seeing last week. In the morning, I had a woodcock fly by. Some double crested cormorants and great blue herons migrating. Here we have a group of three. Great blue herons out of the nine total that we saw today. We had two black vultures towards the end of the day, and it was actually right after the last visitor had left, and it was just me and Dave Wheeler. We had two black vultures migrate through together. Of course, we're seeing thousands of turkey vultures, but the black vulture is a relatively rare species this far north. Derby Hill getting maybe 10 or less per season. When I'm down in Delaware, I see these all over the place. Very uh, species I'm very familiar with, but really cool to get them up here at Derby Hill and add them to the season list. It was another really big day for turkey vultures with over 1,600. We had four ospreys today, which is a great total for March. Also had four golden eagles today, although they really took a long time to get going. Um, it was pretty much into the afternoon before we started seeing any golden eagles. So I think people were getting antsy because it was a really good day. And where are the eagles? We weren't seeing bald eagles either. It just took the eagles a while to get moving today. First triple digit day of the season for sharp shinned hawks with 125. Sharp shinned hawks are small occipiters with very squared off tips to the tail. And all of the ones I was able to age were adults. So it's typical early in the season we're seeing adults of most raptor species because they want to get up onto the breeding grounds first and then the juveniles can take their time and wander up later on. We also had 44 Cooper's Hawks today, which was the biggest total for those this season. And we even had a few juveniles mixed in. They were the first juvenile Cooper's Hawks I've seen this season. Moderate flight of Northern Harriers today with 16. Bald Eagles were moderate as well with 15. Another really big flight of red-shouldered hawks today with almost 250. And most of them were adults, although we did have a few juveniles mixed in, such as this bird here. And even more red tails and red shoulders today with 262 red tails. And again, most of them were adults with smaller numbers of juveniles mixed in. So just really good raptor totals overall for this time of the season, especially to have two really big days in a row. Um, we're already past where we would normally be for many of these species for the entire month of March. So uh, really good start to the season so far. We had 10 rough-legged hawks today, including some really nice ones. We had uh, a few dark morph birds, such as that one. And then we had some really beautiful adult male. This one's got a really frosty plumage, double, uh, you know, multiple tail bands, 
This one, normally the adult males have a more bibbed appearance. This one doesn't really have a bib. It's just got like a really nice, even speckling to the underside of the body. So I really appreciate the variation in the rough-legged hawks. And it's a species that's kind of rare to see further south. So I'm really enjoying seeing all the rough legs. A couple of belted kingfishers today. Had all the normal woodpeckers, including pileated. Still waiting on sap suckers to show up, though. And for falcons, we only had kestrels. We had 16 American kestrels today. No merlins and no peregrines. We had the first eastern Phoebe of the season that briefly perched in the tree, but did not stick around very long. Some tree swallows moving through throughout the day. Small numbers of bluebirds migrating. Moderate number of robins. A couple pine siskins. Eastern meadow larks really put on a show. Really good lighting on those in the morning as they were migrating over as individuals or small groups. And then at the end of the day, had a group of nine meadow larks. So 23 meadow larks total is a really good count. And a good number of blackbirds moving today, including a lot of rusty blackbirds. So overall, a really great day of birding. Big list. A lot of people came out and just a really fun day of hawk watching on sort of perfect conditions really so a lot of good looks at birds and i think everyone had a great time today out at derby hill out of all those species two of them were new for the season which were black vulture and eastern phoebe bringing us to a total of 91 species for the season taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals Today we had two black vultures, 1,641 turkey vultures, four ospreys, 15 bald eagles, 16 northern harriers, 125 sharp-shinned hawks, 44 cooper's hawks. For beautios, we had 242 red-shouldered hawks and 262 red-tailed hawks and 10 rough-legged hawks. We had four golden eagles and we had 16 American kestrels for a grand total of 2,381 migrating raptors. That brings the season total to 5,940. Taking a look at the forecast, tomorrow is looking cloudy with rain developing in the afternoon, a high in the mid 50s and south southeast winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So it's a good wind, but it will probably be a thicker cloud cover tomorrow and that may hold back the flight. And then that rain moving in in the afternoon may shut down the flight early and Usually with this kind of rain that they're predicting, sometimes when you get to the day, the rain timing actually is uh, earlier or later than they were calling for. So definitely check the weather in the morning. There's definitely the possibility that raptors could be moving on those favorable winds during the periods when it's not raining. So I would expect moderate migration, but it may end up only being light, may end up being decent, just depends on what exactly happens with that rain. But I wouldn't expect it to be as good as these last few days, despite the good winds. For Friday, it's looking sunny with a high around 40 and west-northwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. That's a cold, slightly unfavorable wind. We'll be down at the south lookout and there could be a lot of turkey vultures moving, but really wouldn't expect too much else to be moving on those winds. And uh, a lot of times the birds are more distant from the south lookout. So probably a slower recovery day for Friday. And then Saturday is looking quite rainy. Although there are southwest winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour. So it's kind of a decent southerly wind, but the high is only 43. So it's looking kind of cold and damp and rainy. Wouldn't expect much for Saturday, but we'll keep an eye on it in case they change it. All right. Well, I don't want to sound like I'm repeating myself, but it really was another great day of hawk watching at Derby Hill. We had a lot of really nice looks. It did get a little chaotic in the midday period. The birds got up really high and there were some birds over the lake and some overhead and some inland. And no matter where you looked, you were seeing birds, but knew that you were missing them in the other direction. So, hey, I did the best that I could to get an accurate count. And then towards the end of the day, the birds came down lower again. We had a nice push of rough legged hawks and then um, those black vultures coming through. We actually had a dark morph rough leg, a golden eagle, and the two black vultures all in sight at the same time, which was a really cool moment. And then to finish off the day with that lesser sandhill crane coming through, you just never know what you're going to see out at Derby Hill. So I hope you can come visit sometime soon. Still plenty of season left. We're still really ramping things up over the next few weeks. The peak of the turkey vultures will get here. And then April is just a lot of variety of raptors. And of course, once the broad wing starts showing up in mid-April, that's when we can get the really big numbers. And then into May with all the songbirds and warblers. So there's just so many fun birds yet to come at Derby Hill. 
From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.